and welcome to another GEMDS training video. In this video, we will be configuring Quality of Service, or QoS, on the Orbit MCR900 via the command line. This video is part two of a multi-part Quality of Service series. Feel free to view video one if you have not yet done so. Continuing with the example from the previous video, let's configure the Orbit MCR900. After logging in, navigate to the configuration prompt. The first thing we need to do is configure the classifiers. To do this, enter the following commands. Set services, QoS, classifier, give it a name, then match, give the match a name, then we're going to type ethernet, then ether type, then protocol, and then finally goose. The next line will enter set services QoS classifier VLAN 101 classifier. Again, this can be any name you want. Then match VLAN 101 match Ethernet Ether type protocol VLAN. Next, we'll enter the same command, but instead of using the Ether type protocol VLAN at the end, we'll use VLAN ID then ID, then 101. Now we'll move on to the FTP classifier. Set services, QoS classifier, FTP classifier, match, FTP match, IPv4, protocol, then assigned number, TCP. Next we'll specify the service. So set services, QoS, classifier, FTP classifier, match, FTP match, IPv4, destination port, or DST port, services, then FTP. Now that the classifiers have been completed, we can create the policy. To do this, type set services, QoS, policy, main policy, again this can be whatever name you wish, prioritization, then to start with we'll use default-priority and set it to 10. Next, set services, QoS, policy, main policy, prioritization, then class, goose class, priority 1, classifier, and then we're referencing the previously created classifier which is goose-classifier. Then for the VLAN 101, we'll do the same thing, but we'll be setting it to priority 2. And again, for FTP, however, we'll be setting the priority to 15. Next, you'll want to enable QoS. You can do this by entering set services, QoS, enabled, true. Next, we will apply the policy to the interface. To do this, type set interfaces. Interface, NX Radio, QoS, Output, then Main Policy. Next, you will commit the changes, and your configuration is complete. You may have noticed that with this configuration, we may have a conflict between the VLAN 101 classifier and the FTP classifier. For example, if FTP traffic comes in that is tagged with VLAN 101, Currently, it will be marked as priority 2. Since we want all FTP traffic to be a low priority, we will need that classifier to be processed first. Therefore, it would be a good idea to set the metric on the FTP classifier to something lower than 10. To do this, type set services QoS classifier FTP classifier metric and 5. Then commit the change. Now let's take a quick look at our config thus far. As you can see, the metric on the FTP classifier has been changed to 5. So what will happen if there is currently no goose traffic and no VLAN 101 traffic, but there is a heavy amount of other traffic that does not match our classifiers? With our current configuration, this traffic will be queued in a first-come, first-serve order. This can be sufficient for most setups, but what if we want the traffic to be treated fairly? This is where the fairness functionality comes in. We can apply a secondary fairness policy to the default traffic by configuring a new class. Let's add that now. 
Again, from the configuration prompt, enter set services, QoS policy, fairness policy. Again, this can be any name you wish. Fairness, then SFQ. Then press enter. Then we want to type set services, QoS policy, main policy, prioritization, class, fairness class, priority 10. Note that this 10 must match your default priority. Then next policy, then fairness policy. Then press enter. Next you will want to commit the changes. And that's it. All of your default priority traffic will now have the fairness policy applied. Note that you can apply the fairness policy to any of your other classes as well. Thank you for watching another GEMDS training video.